takes over now, BSA. Well, what do you want to hear from him as he comes in? Does he help smooth relations here as a former lawmaker? Or what, what, what are you expecting from him? Well, let me go first, as we just heard from David Goodman, uh, again, in, in the subcommittee, because he is now uh, the Director of Commerce. But, so he, here's the, and then he went, you know, it, the Department of Commerce does a lot of stuff, and so he, he went into all that. But when asked about this $525 million uh, that zeroed out in his budget, the answer was, uh, it, you know, it went to Jobs Ohio. The question is, for what? How's it being used? How are those operations changing? And he couldn't answer the question. So I, I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, what this transition means. The, the more curious part is that the director of DSA is leaving at this time. Uh, that's the more curious part of it. Not so much who's replacing uh, the director of DSA. I would just follow up and, and to Representative Driehaus's point. If if in fact the governor's statement is accurate, and this has been in the works for three months, why is David Goodman showing up to a committee saying, well, I don't know where any of this money is going. Wouldn't we be transitioning him into the role so he understands what's been going on in DSA? And so, again, it just seems very curious that here we are with this burgeoning scandal around what's happened with money that was appropriated for DSA, seemingly spent on Jobs Ohio, the director's leaving, the governor's office is indicating it's been going on for three months, and the very individual who's taking over the role is in a committee hearing and finance saying, I don't know what's happened with any of this money. Not to mention the fact that Director Schmack is the person who came forward on behalf of DSA to present the budget to the members of the General Assembly. If you're leaving, why are you the person coming over making this budget request? Wouldn't it make more sense to have whomever is going to be the new director come over to the General Assembly and say, I'm going to be the new director and these are going to be my priorities and that's what I need you to fund. It just does not make any sense to have someone coming over, present a budget, and walk out the door before we've even passed it out of the House, let alone have it go through the Senate. And of course we did ask the director of DSA to come in uh, again, because we had so many questions about what's going on with the department, and we asked her to come in uh, when Jobs Ohio came in to talk to us about the interactions between the two so we could better and more fully understand the relationship and the dollars, and clearly that is not going to happen.